Hi, I would like to share my testimony a few years back. Um, I was doing really bad at the time, and I was really depressed. And I was, I was on drugs real bad, and I used to have paint. And uh, I ended up losing my place to stay, and I lost my daughter. And one day when I was at a friend's house, and I was having paint like I usually do, and suddenly I just felt like a sharp pain in my head and in a blink of an eye I ended up in hell literally <clears throat> when I got there it it was really dim and it kind of looked like a endless cave and you could hear just wailing of people crying and screaming and it looked like an <clears throat> entrance to it just going in and it, the feeling of it was just unbearable it was like fire and ice at the same time and it was just like you couldn't rub it off and it felt like the air was literally getting sucked out of your lungs and when I looked up I saw a gray smoke on the top of the cave or wherever we were at and it said 666 and then I saw that I knew I was in hell And right after I saw that, I felt like somebody pulling me. And I looked over and it just like I, I got sucked into just complete darkness. But then after that, a light kind of sh uh, started shining on me. And I saw two men. It looked like men, but they were just like light, made out of light beside me. And I was there being judged by God. And when he saw me, he was just so heartbroken. I could see myself through his eyes. And how much it broke his heart to see me in hell. And he said to me, Tracy K, you don't deserve a deserve to go to hell, uh, go to hell. I know what you've been through and I'm gonna give you an, a second chance. And then after that, I got up. I was, they put me back in my body. And I felt like, just like diving down from the sky as fast as you could go. And I got in, back inside my body and when I got up, it was just, I was so achy. Like, I felt like I was literally came back from the dead. And after that, I when I got up, my legs hurt really bad. And it just, it was horrible. And I went into my friend's house. And I went to go lay down. And when I lay down, I felt somebody kiss my cheek. And I, I guess because... I, I was never raised Christian. I was raised a pagan. And uh, I heard somebody speaking, saying, holy, 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 and speaking, I found out later, tongues. And it felt like somebody writing, like writing letters on the top of my roof of my mouth with my tongue as fast as you could go. And it was just really, really fast. And I was just, my heart was breaking. I didn't have my daughter. And I said, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. And they said, not yet, sweetheart. It's not your time. And I know there's a lot of people out there that don't believe in God, nor the devil. But hell is real. And I wouldn't wish that on it, my worst enemy. Please, if you have a chance, please, please pray to our Lord and Savior and get saved. Because times are getting rough and it's getting to the end. And the kind of love that God has for us is phenomenal. I only had a taste of it for a split second.
and just pray to the Holy Father saying, God, I'm a sinner and I need to be saved. Please wash all my sins by the blood of the Lamb. I believe that our Lord died on the cross for me and rose three days later. Please help me change my life. Help me get to know you. Start reading your Bible a little bit each day. Our Father won't neglect you. He basically replaced a father I never had. And he surpasses anything I could ever imagine. No. Well, God bless you all. Bye.